Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on his farm he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O, with a moo-moo here and a moo-moo there, here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo-moo, Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Hey everyone, how is it going? We are live here on the Technicolor Mike B Show with another animal design, animals A to Z. Today it is O is for ox. Now I had a lot of choices for the letter O. I could have done the owl, an otter, an octopus, an opossum, ostrich, oyster, orca, orangutan, but I went with the ox. And when I saw that the ox was a choice, I'm like, what exactly is an ox? So in the area, we have a handful of roads that are have ox in the name. That um, There is Old Ox, West Ox, and Ox Road. So I should be well familiar with the whole term ox, shouldn't I? And... Doing my research into ox, that led me into questions about the cow. Yes, an ox and a cow are related. So an ox, or the plural oxen, is a male bovine trained and used as a draft animal. And oxen are commonly castrated adult male cattle. Yep, so there is a kettle. Kettle brings us to cow. Bovine is also another word that can bring us to cows. So they say that an oxen can carry a heavier load for a longer period of time than a horse. And until like, they, they have a yoke that they can put on the ox that makes it easier for them to pull heavy loads that they they really didn't have a design that worked as effectively for horses until more modern times so the the ox was a good farm animal able to pull heavy loads plow the fields or do other chores that were needed Someone, um, when you need a little bit more strength than a team of horses can provide. And uh, so some of the words that were in that definition of the ox was a bovine. Well, bovine includes cattle, bison, the, uh, the African buffalo, water buffalo, the four-horned and spiral-horned antelopes. So a lot of animals are in the bovine family. One of them being the cattle. Now, I always thought that the cow was the catch-all term for the name of the animal, but the actual name of the animal is the cattle. So a cow is the female, and the bulls are the male, but there are more terms, not all female cows, female cattle are cows, and not all males are the bulls. So let's see. So a, a cow is a mature female cattle that has had at least one calf before the cow becomes a before the cattle becomes a cow, it is a heifer. The heifer is the young female that have not born any calves. Calves are baby cattle and they can be male or female. They are just called calves. So the bulls are the mature male cattle and it is at least two years old and used for breeding purposes. If it is not a bull, but it's a male, and um, then it is castrated, and it is called a steer. 
So it is called a steer as soon as it's been castrated. It doesn't uh, have to reach maturity or anything. The steers are usually raised for meat. The cows can be used to raise young calves or provide milk for the farm. And there are different types of cattle, different breeds for different purposes. They can be a more of a dairy variety or the beef producing variety. Um, I was reading up on uh, steaks versus like ground beef. The different cuts of meat come from different breeds of cattle and that some dairy cows after they have reached an old enough age can be processed for beef. Yeah, so it was a very interesting uh, bit of reading and information that I'm like, I always thought the cow was just the name of the animal. I knew we get milk from cows, but I wasn't really paying attention to the fact that the cow was just the female who has already had at least one calf. Yeah, from what I was reading, like, it says, like, you can't necessarily tell the male from the female by looking at it and saying, does it have horns? Uh, depending on the breed, some of the females do have horns. You can't look at it, them, say, by the markings, because that is more of a breed characteristic if they are uh, brown or white or have spots or different patterns. I really didn't know a whole lot about the uh, the whole difference between a uh, cow and a heifer and a bull and um, the the different terms that go with it. So if you're going to use a cow cattle for as an ox, you train it to pull carts and other equipment. Like I said, they are usually the castrated male. The uh, castration makes them calmer and easier to train and work with, and they can pull a heavier load. And they, they say that, they, that people have been uh, harnessing and putting cattle to work as ox uh, since around 4000 BC. If they are going to be a working ox, they need shoes. And unlike a horse that has the horseshoe U-shaped shoe, a, um, the cattle has a cloven hoof, which means it has two parts. So that their shoe is actually two pieces of uh, shoe that go into making that. And they say that the, the shoe of an ox would usually be half moon or banana shaped. Ooh, I didn't give this one horns. I was going to give him horns. Make him look a little bit meaner and tougher and stronger. So yeah, so next time... Chick-fil-A has their cow appreciation day. Just know that the cows are just the female of the species and they have had at least one calf, so they've given birth. Depending on the type of farm operation, they may be raising uh, beef cattle, or they may be producing milk cattle. Uh, both types of cows are optimized for different purposes. The dairy cow has a better milk producing ability, so it produces more milk than needed to raise the calf. The beef cows don't have as much excess milk. Oops, now, now our ox 
has horns and is ready to pull a heavy load. He's going to be working with another ox, so there'll be a, a, at least a pair of them. And if it was really heavy load, they might stack multiple ox in a row. From what I read that they they would usually have uh, multi year so like they'd have uh, like three year old, four year old, and five year olds working together. So you have a pair of three year olds, a pair of four year olds, and a pair of five year olds. And that way, I guess you always have a uh, set of trained ones so that when they get too old, replace them and the th the four year olds become the five year olds, the three year olds become the four year olds, and you get a new pair of three year olds to start the process over again. So, yep, so here is our cattle. Um, if it is a female and produces milk and offspring, it is a cow. If it's younger than that, it's a heifer. Or really young, it's still a calf. And if it's a castrated male, uh, being grazed for beef, it is a steer. Yeah, lots of terms to memorize and get straight. So this is Technicolor Might Be with another animal design. O is for ox. Hope you learned something about the cows, cattle, and beef producing. Until next time, see you later. Alligator. After a while, crocodile. Thanks for watching.